like to welcome Courtney Pomeranke to the stage for Employment Hero. Um, Employment Hero is a HR, payroll and employee engagement platform that streamlines every aspect of the employee's life cycle. It helps promote support from recruitment and onboarding to engagement and productivity management. So please welcome Courtney. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Alrighty guys, thank you very much for sticking around until the end of the day. As you can probably already tell, I'm losing my voice. So um, we're gonna try and make HR and payroll a bit sexy, I suppose, while I've got you. Um, I'm one of our partnership managers here at Employment Hero and I've got you for the next 15 minutes and I promise you can go home after that. Who are we? Employment Hero are in the business of taking the stress out of employment for employers and employees alike. We do this by providing a suite of end-to-end -end software and services for every stage of the employment journey, from hired to fired, hired to retired, whatever the case might be. With over 40 years experience in the Australian employment market, we give you back the time to focus on things that are mission critical and revenue generating, because there's nothing fun about HR and payroll, but it is a necessary evil in every business. Now, I'm sure you've all seen some really exciting technologies today that you would love to go in and implement in your business. But I'm not a psychic. I can guarantee most of the attendees today will go home tomorrow with the best intentions and then they'll get caught in recruitment, processing payroll. There's a HR issue, performance reviews are due. It is very, very hard to build a successful business without the right, right foundations at home. There are some really unique challenges that the tourism industry faces internally running a business. Some of those being a seasonal workforce, um, particularly high turnover, um, you might have off, um, overseas workers, that sort of thing. Um, when you have highly seasonal workers, a lot of you would know, it takes quite a while to upskill them each time you onboard them. And then as soon as you've onboarded them, a lot of the time they're gone, the season's over, they're backpacking somewhere, all those sorts of things. It makes it hard. Not only that, but a lot of tourism businesses have staff who clock in and clock out. Now, you might be ahead of the technology, you've got an app, people do it all digitally. A lot of people still to this day, particularly in Queensland, will manually clock in and clock out on a piece of paper in the staff room somewhere, or they'll text their hours after their shift's done, and then you're chasing it for days or weeks. So we take the hard work out of it for you guys. Not only that, but for example, compliance. It's not a very entertaining topic, but hands up here who is aware of the fair work changes that are coming into place next month. Got one? Hands up, two. Hands up who's actually done anything internally in the business of that at one. That's good. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's, it's very complicated, particularly when you run a small business to wear so many different hats. Your HR, your lawyer, your payroll, your marketing, your everything in between. Outsource it to us, we're here to help. Not only that, but that training and development piece I did touch on earlier by being able to create streamlined pathways so people can go through the same experience every time to ensure your customers are getting the same high quality experience is really essential. So, HR. We do sell HR software as well as HR services like HR advisory as well as employment law ones. What we tend to see is businesses, particularly smaller businesses, have three pain points or priorities um, when they're looking at HR. The first being recruitment, onboarding and compliance. The second being performance management and the very last being reward and recognition. And I'll touch on how we work with you on these shortly. With recruitment, onboarding and compliance, it may feel often like your business is a re revolving door of staff or perhaps for certain people, you can't even get staff in the door. Within our HR platform, we have an applicant tracking system that also integrates with an AI feature called Smart Match, and that tool not only helps you create job posts, job descriptions, it also maps candidates to you before you've even posted the job. So you can save your fees and posting to LinkedIn, a local community page and the Facebook group. You can still do that and can track all your applicants back into the one system so you don't have 70 different logins. But the, the fact of the matter is you can have applicants for the job before you've even posted it, which is pretty powerful. And then once you've got the staff member, what do you do with them? Do you give them the dusty old booklet full of policies and procedures that haven't been updated since the 80s? Paywork would probably have a heart attack over that, but that's all right. 
Do you have a streamlined onboarding compliance program? What is that employee's first experience with your business? We're here to digitalise and streamline that. That way, God forbid, the building burns down. You've still got all of your employee records ready to go and everyone from that point forward is still having the same consistent onboarding experience. We also have an internal employment law and HR advisory function. Now, what those guys do is they provide us with templated policies and procedures as well as employment contracts. So for those of you who don't have a lawyer down the road or a lawyer who's a cousin or you're just not really sure where to start, they're there accessible, on demand. They also get updated when the legislation changes. So it's one less thing to stress about. And for those of you who work in industries where you need to record certifications, RSAs, working with children checks, those sorts of things, you can track them, including the expiries within the platform itself. Performance management. <laughs> we got the giggle down the front here. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Sometimes it never gets done. I've certainly worked at businesses before where you're onboarded and it's good luck. You'll only hear from me if there's a problem. The fact of the matter is performance management is really key to scaling, to profitability, um, to staff retention as well. But where do you start? If you don't have a HR degree or you're not really well versed in what it looks like, we have templated performance reviews that you guys can customise or use as is. If you don't want to be so formal and want to take a little bit more of a relaxed approach, we also have the ability to schedule in one-on-ones um, with team members. They connect to your Outlook or whatever else you use um, with specific agendas to work on things with. We do goal tracking and management, employee performance analytics, so you can see lifetime how people are progressing um, against those goals or those performance metrics. And again, there is a HR dashboard with full visibility over it. And lucky last, reward and recognition. And it probably sounds a little bit fruity when I say it. Everyone's like, oh, is it not good enough to get paid? Fair, I get that. Um, but we're in a day and age where employees want other rewards or recognition. Reward and recognition initiatives, even things like learning and development, are ranked the second most enticing value out of business can add for an employee or a prospective employee other than pay. So what happens when you're in a highly competitive industry and you can't necessarily match the salary of a larger organisation? What can you offer? We have the swag store um, with Employment Hero, which is essentially a discount marketplace. Um, I was chatting to someone about this last night at another event. Um, and within the swag store, not only are there discounts on products and services, there's also cashback. A girl who saved, like, she got back over $500 from booking her holiday through the swag store, which she got access to through her employer. With the swag store as well, you can allocate out hero points in reward for tenure, birthdays, overperformance, customer feedback. Um, and you can work that in with shout outs as well on the platform. Now, I certainly can't give you tax advice, and what I'm about to say is not tax advice, but not all hero point allocations trigger fringe benefits tax, but you should look into that yourself and get some proper financial advice. So there are three of our main priorities or pain points that we typically see with businesses um, and how we can digitalise and resolve most of those. Next up is payroll. Now, no one's booed me and no one's snoring, so we're off to a good start, but Hands up here who has seen in the media, um, particularly some of the larger banks and Woolworths and Coles alike, not paying their employees the correct amounts. We've all seen it, we've all heard about it, or super. Um, who thinks that would be pretty bad for a business's reputation, regardless of the size? Yep. Hands up, whose business still manually processes and calculates payroll? Yep. With Employment Hero, and with our payroll software, we're Australia's largest payroll provider. So we have over a million employees that we pay every single month on the system. So our software not only has digitalised clock-in and clock-out functionality via an iPad app or a phone, so depending on whether your employees are on-site or off-site, they can still access it. That timesheeting functionality feeds into the payroll function, which then automatically applies your EBA, your EA, your awards, your common law contracts to the rostered hours to automatically calculate exactly what that employee should be paid based on what hours they've done. So it removes that risk of human error um, and reduces the likelihood that you'll end up on the news like some of those big orgs, because for a small org, that can be crippling. That can be business ending. Sorry outsource it to us. And for those of you who spend 
a whole day, a day and a half. Honestly, anything more than an hour is too long on payroll. Those of you who are spending time, who are struggling with it, who are going grey over it, we also offer managed payroll services. So it's a done for you service. Um, so when in doubt, outsource it out for sure. So Employment Hero have partnered with the Queensland Tourism Industry Council um, for the $2,500 rebate. So not only can you get the $2,500 rebate off the HR platform as well as the payroll platform, we've gone one step further because obviously you only get one rebate. But there's a range of technologies that have been showcased across today that would really benefit a lot of your businesses. So you can get the grant, but not only that, if you scan the QR code on the screen there, or if you go and see my colleague Liv in the conference room down the back and grab one of these little flyers, take it home with you, that QR code will entitle the business to 10% off all of our products and our services, and it will also entitle you guys to 50% off our implementations. So it's a pretty good value add as well. I, it should, I will also note as well with our billing, particularly with your seasonal headcounts and your fluctuations, we, we can structure the billing where we bill based on your active headcount. So if you've got 100 people in summer and 10 in winter, we can work with you to find an appropriate billing method as well. If you have any questions, we're down the back. Um, more than happy to answer them as we go. But that's it for me. Got a bit of an early mark. Thank you, guys.